flowers. The flower, in need of reproduction, lets its spathe explode, freeing the pollen that irresistibly attracts the bees, our lifelong allies. The time has come to free the male flower and to prepare it with reverence for our fertilization. Men climb our long trunks to insert the pollen-bearing twigs into our inflorences, repeating the same movement since time immemorial. At that time, we bend down to them as a sign of recognition. And we let them drink from the very shell of our flowers. Even before our fruits begin to gain weight, men need to take care that our clusters are reduced, allowing us to regulate our future yield. As soon as we are freed from this surplus of weight, we prepare ourselves for other actions of thinning and pruning, to which we are entitled as the queens of the oasis. The great care men devote to us allows us to aerate our fruits so that they can gain in size. All that remains for men now is to free our clusters in order to enable them to hang from us, the female date palms, by means of their own weight. Fugacious moments of happiness, because at the beginning of the summer, our enemies try to weave their webs inside our bunches. This is why men must remove the stalks left over from the last harvest and the dry palm leaves from the lower part of our foliage to deprive our predators from a favorable backdrop. After that, they pick up the palm leaves that they had cut before to use them for different purposes. Nor will they forget to pick up the dates that have already fallen to the ground. Dates start to ripen. Men come equipped with mosquito nets that are used to protect us. They attach them firmly to our trunks. Verifying that our bunches are hanging freely. They then insert them into the mosquito nets, taking care not to let our dates fall to the ground. They make sure the mosquito nets are hermetically sealed. Finally, they check their work meticulously to guarantee that we can breathe with satisfaction with our head in the sun. Around the month of May, small pieces of fruit called bzar appear. Around June and July, our dates, which are still greenish in color, grow and are then named blah. They then turn progressively yellow. We call this sage bzar. In September, they start to soften and are then called shbeba.